Hello and welcome to another review. Today I'm reviewing this, which is a USB 3.0 SATA hard drive enclosure. Um, quite impressed with this. This is by Rush Tech, and that's how you pronounce it, which is R S H Tech. Um, and yeah, it's uh, I've been pleased with it. I've actually boxed it all up to show you exactly what it comes with it. But let's go over some of the features. So it supports uh, USB. Free. It's also backward compatible with two on one. It's uh, SATA one, SATA two, and SATA three compatible. So it supports all them. Uh, you get transfer rates up to five gigabytes per second. Um, yeah, I ain't quite hit them to be fair, but it apparently does support that. It is basically plug and play, so very easy to. Do there's no uh, drivers or software you're going to store, and yeah, I've been really pleased with it. So let's take it out and show you what you get in the box. So it comes like that. Quite nice, it's a, it's a metal casing. Uh, this bit here is plastic, though, a bit plastic default for me, um, but it's quite strong, you know, it's quite strong, so and it does the job. So I can live with that, but it would have been nice to have a metal construction as well. Um, it, yeah, this is a powered one, guys, so you get a nice power lead with it, which is quite quite decent. Then cable, and I'll say there's about two meter cable there. Uh, you get a stand, which is also plastic, but again, it feels quite strong, so I can live with that again. You get the USB. A free to type C connector, so you must have a type C uh, port on your computer uh, to use this. Or if you haven't got one, uh, then my other suggestion is you can buy like a converter. Uh, this is a type C to USB free converter, you can use something like that. Um, but I highly recommend to plug this directly into a USB. Uh, to a type C connection so it, it is a type C connection so bear that in mind if you're going to buy this guys uh, I like that you got an actual screwdriver if you include this a nice screwdriver with the screws to mount your hard drive and then you got your top ones wrong to your card and blah 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 let's put that over the side so there it is so um, Again, I'm, I'm very happy with it. The design's nice. Uh, it does the job really well. I mean, as I sort of said, it's compatible with SATA 1, 2, and 3. You can put HD, yeah, normal hard drives in. You can put your SATA, your, oh, sorry, your SSDs in. Um, your HD, SDs, you know, that's hyperbird. You know, basically your hard drive just goes in, doesn't matter really, really what type it is, as long as it's SATA. Right now. I just want to show you a couple of things that I think they could have improved on. I mean, again, this I wish this was a plastic, uh, wasn't a plastic construction, but it is quite rigid. I mean, you put your hard drive in and it does firm up. Um, you've got your mounting screws here on the bottom to mount your 3.5 uh, inch hard drive. Uh, but you can also put in a 2.5. Uh, inch hard drive, which is exactly the same like that. However, even though it works fine, you know, you can actually state you can read data. There's one problem with this particular uh, enclosure, and that's on the back. There's no mounting screws for a whole side for a 2.5 inch hard drive. So maybe you could put like uh, some tape tape it on across here or or if you got somewhere like this but here you could put some like, like the side sticky tape or something or maybe some thick foam wedges here and here to stop it from moving about uh, that is the only downside to this guys uh, but again you can still access the data so it still works it's just that little bit of this oh, way maybe they could have put the holes in for that as well who knows um, so yeah once you I'll show the example on this one. Once it's in, you just basically, oh no, that wasn't in properly. That's better. You just shove it in like that. 
Okay, screw down and job done. Uh, Easy connections on the back. You, you so your USB free in, um, or whatever you know, or whatever uh, DC. You got your two LED lights to show it's working, and you got your on and off. You can have it just like that, or you can put it in the stand like so. Uh, one other feature I want to tell you about is it's got an automatic sleep function, which enters sleep mode after ten minutes of. Basically, uh, data not being used, whether that's reading or writing from the device. Um, uh, because the design as well, the airflow is quite good. You have got fence on the back here, so you know there is airflow to it. So overall, guys, I am really pleased with it. I mean, it saves on the box uh, quick seventy three minutes, which yeah, you're probably doing too. Super speed rise up to 5 gigabytes per second data transmission. I haven't had that speed, um, but I think I've got just under 4. Uh, but maybe, you know, maybe another driver, whether it's my computer, because I've got a couple of problems to be fair with my motherboard. So um, it's pretty close anyway. So yeah, I, I, and again, it is powered so. You know, it's definitely going to be uh, work with some of these non-powered cases. They, they ain't very good to be fair. But it's been powered, yeah. One other thing, guys, is the uh, this lead here, the USB to Type C, is only one meter long, if that. So I would have liked to have longer cable. So also bear that in mind, guys. But again, it's really good, especially if you like I don't know, a photographer that's always on the move and you got loads of. Uh, photos and needs to keep backing up then this is ideal for that guys or or how even if you just got a hard drive sitting around spare doing nothing get yourself this and get you you know might as well use it good idea as a as a backup device you know what i mean so yeah that's it for me guys so uh yeah i'm very pleased with this and please do look out for more of my reviews coming up soon until next time i'll catch you later